I'd like to thank you, Green, for going through and sending me this USB audio adapter. This is going to be great to go through and add Bluetooth to certain devices to give you extra options. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up to my PlayStation 5 with my Apple AirPods, and I'm going to be able to listen to it that way. That way I can use the AirPods I already have and not use big headphones or anything like that because this will support that connectivity. Let me go through and show you how it works. Let's go ahead and unbox it. So when you open it, you're going to have the USB portion, which is the Bluetooth area that is going to go through and send the sound to your AirBuds. The other piece is more for a microphone. So you can go through and use a microphone as well. And with that, you'll be able to send voice chat and stuff like that with it. So if you're using, for example, a microphone, then you have that for this. I'm just going to be using the USB-C because I'm just connecting it to my AirPods, but you can go through and use the other piece as well. It does come with a manual here and the manual is good. So you definitely want to follow it or listen to this video because I'm going to teach you how to use it. Remove the USB-C portion here. And once you go ahead and get that out, then we're going to go through and plug that into the PlayStation in a moment. There you also see the microphone 3.5 adapter. Like I said, that's if you want to be talking to someone as well. For this, I just want sound, so we're just going to do the first option. It's good that both things are included. So this is Bluetooth 5.3 in setup in it. So let's go ahead and put it into the PlayStation. We have a secret compartment here. <laughs> we'll go through and plug it in. Once it's on, you can see it's flashing red and blue. That means it's in pairing mode. So you want to also go through and make sure your pairing mode is on your iPods. There's a button on the back. The case must be open. Keep that in mind. If it's not open, it's not going to work. Also, if you have Bluetooth turned on on your phone, on a speaker, anything else that may interfere, you may want to turn them off. I turned my phone Bluetooth off and I unplugged my Apple speaker because they were causing some issues. Another thing is when you do sync these two things together, I would also put them closer together. In this video, I didn't do that. But I tried it again later and I had them right next to each other. And when it was next to each other, it paired a lot easier. Next, go into your PlayStation settings. This may not need to be done. This is already done for me. Go into your settings, then go into sound and then go to audio output. The device should be USB and it should say you green. And this should automatically be turned on to automatic. And those were on. After that, I was able to hear the sound and I was jamming out to some Fortnite festival music. And you can see here they are set up and they're working. Just make sure the other Bluetooth stuff is not on and you'll be good to go. My name is Kevin with Helpful Tutorials. I hope this is helpful.